VRAM. Video memory we will discuss all area about VRAM. How much VRAM do you need? Professional and gaming workloads explored. Raw clock speeds and processing cores are not the only factors to consider when picking a graphics card. Ensuring your GPU has access to sufficient VRAM, video memory, for your workloads is equally important. Hitting the sweet spot will allow you to get both the most performance out of your workloads without spending too much on VRAM capacity that you might not need. Moreover, as your professional projects and modern video games VRAM demand will continue to grow in the years to come, you can save yourself the need to upgrade your GPU in the near future when choosing a graphics card with ample VRAM now. As is often the case, the VRAM requirements, too, depend on what you plan on using your graphics card for. When building a PC for tasks such as video editing, the VRAM requirements of your graphics card can vary depending on the software used as well as your project complexity, making it necessary to identify the best amount of VRAM for your particular workloads. To help you decide, we'll be going through the VRAM requirements of popular creative workloads in this guide. Because VRAM also has a significant impact on gaming performance, we will give a high-level overview of what to look out for in gaming as well. How much VRAM do you need? An overview. For those of you just looking for some quick numbers, here's our VRAM capacity requirements summary table for different popular workloads. Be sure to continue reading for in-depth info on how we came about these numbers. What is VRAM? The abbreviation VRAM stands for Video Random Access Memory and serves as fast, temporary storage for the graphics processor on your graphics card. Before the GPU can process a single frame or specific scene, the VRAM holds the textures, models, geometries, and lighting maps at the ready that the graphics processor then uses to render that particular frame. After the rendering is complete, the graphics card stores the result in the VRAM as a frame buffer, which is then sent to a video display to output the final image on your monitor. When we talk about rendering, this really just means processing, maths, of graphical computations that have a visual end result when put together. So the GPU is really just doing a bunch of calculations with data the VRAM holds. A simplified example, to render, create, a visual image in a PC game or a 3D rendering software that can then be displayed on the monitor, here's basically what happens. 1. The scene data, textures, polygons, animations, lights, is loaded from your mass storage into your GPU's VRAM. 2. The GPU shoots rays through each pixel. 3. When a ray hits a surface, the GPU looks up what polygons, lights, textures are associated with that pixel. This data is found in the VRAM. 4. When the GPU is done checking all pixels for that frame, the frame is finished and can be stored back into VRAM again. 5. The finished frame is displayed on the monitor, or saved onto disk. RAM versus VRAM, what's the difference? The system memory or RAM is an extremely fast, temporary storage in your computer that enables the processor, CPU, to quickly access data needed for processing your workloads. System RAM can be easily upgraded or swapped with different modules. VRAM is fast RAM that the graphics card processor exclusively uses for tasks like rendering scenes and driving displays. VRAM is soldered directly onto the graphics card and this proximity to the graphics processor means it can access information from it much faster than it could from the system RAM or attached storage devices. Because VRAM is soldered onto the GPU's PCB, it can't be upgraded or swapped with other modules. So why does VRAM have to be soldered onto the GPU? Can't we just create a GPU VRAM socket where we can swap RAM modules, like it is done with system RAM on the motherboard? The reason this is not possible is that VRAM is a lot faster than system RAM and a GPU core does not have the level of caches, L1, L2, L3, that a CPU has. Put together, this means for the GPU to be able to access the VRAM as fast as possible, and for signal integrity reasons, the VRAM has to be soldered onto the GPU. We will continue about GPU VRAM videos please wait for it. We will discuss all area about VRAM. Thanks for watching.